I'm Anya Brock. I am doing the four big budgies on the side of the Avery. I'm a painter, kind of illustrator. Basically paint massive, bright, bold pieces, usually birds, sometimes female figures. I was asked by 140 to paint these birds as a part of this big project to activate the space and paint artwork all around the outside of the building, 140. People around the world, and especially now, I guess, in Perth, are starting to realise how important it is to have creativity in their lives every day. And I think corporations, big companies, are realising that it's not only going to benefit their workers, but also just it's a good move to get artwork in their in their buildings and I think that they realise that's what people need. I get a lot of people sending me photos of you know the work that I've done, big large scale pieces that I've done on the street and it basically people just say it just makes me feel happy. I pass it every day on the way to work and it just makes me feel happy and I just love that I get to have that creativity in my life. I feel like art has a lot of words about it when really it's a visual medium. So I didn't study formally as an artist. I've kind of just taught myself how to paint and. I guess the way I paint and the materials I use are maybe not traditional, but again, I don't really know. I had a fashion label for six or seven years, and then I worked in London in fashion, so I guess that maybe has influenced the way I use colour, because I use quite um, complementary colours. I don't think it's specific to any different discipline, it's just kind of the way that I've figured out how to work. Budgies are cute, but I don't have any I don't have any personal attachment to budgies. I don't even think we had any. Maybe we did. Clearly wasn't that attached to it if we did. I think that general shape of the budgies, which is that kind of, for want of a better word, mound. <laughs> I just I like that shape. I love the idea of using an abstract um, technique and putting it within a figurative form so that allows me to just go nuts with paint in the middle wherever I want and then all I you know put that graphic black pattern over the top and it becomes a bird. In, in terms of a marketing perspective figurative work sells more than abstract so I'll probably do a lot of abstract stuff for my own private practice but in terms of being a commercial artist and making a living out of it it works. This is the best job that I've done in terms of with a corporation that gives you ultimate freedom with your work. The thing with mixing creativity and commerce, people will say, yeah, we love what you do, so we want you on board, but can you do this? And they get you to do something completely different, and you're like, well, that's not really what I do. But th with this, it was basically get each artist to do what they do best and give each artist complete freedom with what they do. I think 140 have done an excellent job of activating the space. I think it's exactly what Perth needs, and the scale of it is really important. I think it's courageous to do such a big project and I think that courage is what Perth needs. And the public response is mental, like everybody's loving it. Everybody is saying this is what Perth needs.